Okay, well, let's transition kind of the last couple questions here back yeah. to uh, the ultimate prize, the Stanley Cup. I know it's a little different um, in terms of our celebrations and day with the cup, but yeah. you guys got to, to do it right. You had the, you know, mm -hmm. your parade and your day with the cup. What did you specifically do on, on your day well, with the Stanley Cup? Well, yeah, first off, I, I um, you know, being through that, um, I just feel terrible for you guys and, and, and very unfortunate for you. Hopefully, in which I'm pretty, pretty damn sure that we're all going to try <laughs> that you guys make that you guys have your day with the cup because yeah. there is nothing better than bringing your cup back to the house that you grew up in. Yeah. Back to your neighborhood, right? Where it all started to your friends. You're, you, you're going to, you're going to, there's going to be so many friends over your career, but, you definitely go back to your roots and that's right. what it's all about. So for me, you know, bringing that cup back to Hamilton into, you know, my parents are still in the same house uh, into my, the bedroom that I you know grew up in. That was an, an awesome, awesome experience. And, um, you know, I, I, I got fortunate. I, you know, I had a day and a half with it. I actually got it after Marty the next day it flew in. Uh, both my days in, in Hamilton, and then I went back to Buffalo the next day. Both started at a children's hospital. I did my mornings in a children's hospital, which, you know, I mean, bringing the cup, as you know, back to Canada, the smiles on kids' faces. Right. It, 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 there's nothing you could have done better. It was it was really, really cool. Uh, and I, I started both my days there. The Hamilton one was a little bit more city-orientated. Um, you know, I, I went back to the rink I started playing in. We actually had a parade in downtown Hamilton, um, which I don't, I think there was just as many people for that parade <laughs> as the one in Tampa. <laughs> That's sure. how crazy they are, right? Like, and, and, you know, there's five cars in the parade. My kid's in a car, I'm in a car, my parents, like, you know, and we yeah. did this three block parade uh, back to my home rink, which was, uh, which was a cool experience. I ended up like at a hotel that night kept saying to myself that you know just going to be me and my friends eventually and it was uh buffalo was a little different children's hospital uh then we kind of just hung out at my house we did a little bar hopping yeah um which was cool like you know unannounced to some of my chicken wing joints uh that i used to go to um That's you great. know 30 40 of us we we were in a big box and we just kind of bar hopped and i ended up back at my house and um, but it was, you know, it, it's a, it's a cool experience. You know, I, I witnessed all of you guys and I know you've had a lot of time with the cup to be honest yeah. with you. Um, uh, but you know, the, eventually I hope that you guys get your day where you can bring it back home as, as you know, that what our parents have meant to us and, um, there's no better feeling than handing it to him in his own house. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure I just listening to, the, to, to your stories. I mean, it kind of gives you goosebumps. It brings you back to those days that, you know, when you started and all the people that sacrificed to help you get there. So yeah, we're, right. we're, we're all hoping that we can get it back home. I mean, my parents haven't even been able to see it or touch it or, or right. hold it yet. So we're, we're fingers crossed. I, I, I do think we'll, we'll figure something out, but like you mentioned, under the circumstances, it stayed in Tampa for longer than it would have. So for us, you know, I stayed in Tampa the, the whole off season. So we got to, to spend some days with it. What, you know, we brought it to the golf course a few times. We had it in the backyard, had some, um, you know, small gatherings of, of the guys just in the backyard, just reminiscing and yeah. telling stories and drinking beer. And so in, in that aspect, we got to spend a lot more time with it, which was really cool. But at the end of the day, I think everyone probably trades that in to bring it back home where, where it all started. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. uh, we get that, we get that day. So, you know, uh, we obviously have had good runs to the cup. You've had a whole pile of runs that you, unfortunately, you know, you never got, you know, to, to finally win. Um, and, and same with me. I mean, you know, we all talk about our favorite playoff moment, of course when they get handed the Stanley <laughs> Cup. Like, yeah. Yes, I, that is, of course, the best moment. But other than that, I mean, and for you, it, it obviously would have been incredible. We all watched the story, and um, uh, I'm sure that that's your, your favorite playoff moment. But other than that, you know, what, what would you say is one of your or a few of your playoff moments? 
Yeah, like like you said, I, I've been fortunate to be part of some 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 deep runs that didn't work out. Obviously, you would have loved to be a you know part of of uh, of the Stanley Cup run a little more from an individual perspective. But you know, like you said, that goal was was amazing to come back and just be part of that. I think just the whole bubble experience was unique in itself with how yeah. much of a grind that was. That was certainly amazing to be part of. But I mean, as as a kid really you, you dream of playing in the NHL and you dream of winning the Stanley cup and you dream of playing in that first playoff game. So just getting a taste, my first playoff matchup, you know, we went to game seven of the Eastern conference finals and right. that, that just that whole experience. I remember thinking just how much more fun you could have playing the game of hockey. Like you're in the NHL, you're young. You know, I think I was 20 at the time. You think you're, you know, having, you know, as much fun as you possibly can playing the game. And then you get to the playoffs and it's just a different level, the intensity, you know, the camaraderie with the team. I just remember thinking after we had lost game seven, like how close we were, but just yeah. how amazing that experience was and wanting to do it again. And that really stuck out to me, that playoff run in 2011. And then obviously we've had a few more getting to the cup finals winning game seven at Madison square gardens, Eastern conference mm -hmm. finals. That, that was pretty amazing. Just, you could hear a pin drop in that, in that building and yeah. to go to the finals. That was great. But like you said, I mean, you'll never beat being able to lift the Stanley cup over your head for the first time. Um, but for, for, for you, obviously you had a, a an outstanding yeah. career and then to finally win one with Tampa as the captain must've been, must've been amazing. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, I had I had some play, deep playoff runs with the Leafs. You know, we lost in the Final Four twice in Game Seven, um, and I never really got there. So I think you, the same thing. Like the first time you get to the finals, the whole world changes, right? Like right. It's, you're the only show in town now. Yeah. And the NHL kind of takes over all the buildings, and it's it is a different world. And I think you know, for winning Game Seven at home against Philadelphia. Um, and then, you know, getting to the finals, um, it, that was, that was a cool experience. You know, you talk about your first playoff experience, um, you know, the rules have changed a little bit since then. I was back and forth to junior a few times and had only played 30 something games in the show. Uh, so I did not start the playoff. Um, we were best out of five. Uh, we played Montreal in the first round and that's a, the cool thing about that playoff. I did meet John Beliveau, and and I ate enough hot dogs for both of us for sure. <laughs> a couple of Shian shows. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, the, my my first playoff experience was in Montreal. Um, we won in three games: one nothing, two nothing, three one. Uh, I never got into the playoffs. Uh, we played Boston in the second round, and I never played till game four. Uh, is when I my first game I got in and. Um, you know, the funny story about that is uh, I was not supposed to be in. I was at, back at the hotel. I got the um, hotel manager to say, you got to get to the rink. Uh, I had no warm up, nothing. I, I showed up. The guys were like five minutes before we were going <laughs> to go on the ice. I put my gear on and I went out for my first playoff game, um, which was so, so cool. I mean, watching it was one thing, yeah. but being in it and being part of it, especially in that old Boston Gardens, I ended up playing three more games in that series. We lost in game seven, but uh, you, I think you also go back to those like game sevens or clinching games. Those are pretty memorable for everybody. And, uh, but nothing like, nothing like, uh, you know, winning the Stanley Cup for sure.